Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to create a basic JavaScript object. Let's think about things people see every day, like cars, shops, and birds. These are all objects, tangible things people can observe and interact with. What are some qualities of these objects? A car has wheels, shops sell items, birds have wings. These qualities or properties define what makes up an object. Note that similar objects share the same properties, but have m different values for these properties. For example, all cars have wheels, but not all cars have the same number of wheels. Objects in JavaScript are used to model real-world objects, giving them properties and behavior just like their real-world world counterparts. Here's an example using uh, these concepts to create a duck object. You've got a duck, the name is Affleck, and then it's got a number of two legs. So the duck, we're setting a variable equal to duck, and then the duck is equal to an object with a key value pair for a name, an Affleck, and then number of legs, and the number 2, or the integer 2. This duck object has two property value pairs named name and number of legs. We want to create a dog object with name and number of legs properties and set them to a string and number respectively. Cool, so here we just want to go uh, name, and we set the name to um, something. That's the name of the dog. That's not a good name for a dog. And then the number of legs, he's got four legs. And the property should be set to a string, and the number of legs should be set to that. So this is pretty much the basics of that. Let's say we wanted to do cat, we would go cat is equal to an object with the name. Um, what would be a cat name? Spot. And then the number of legs would be four. But we could also say claws. Uh, like declawed, that would be uh, false. So that means we've got a cat that still has a uh, cat. And then we could do console.log and we could say cat, and then that will print out the, um, the element of the cat. And then if you remember from previous lessons, we could be like declawed and uh, declawed. Oh, this needs to be in parentheses, so we can see that false renders out here because we've set declawed. We could also do it with dot notation and get false as well. Um, but that's all outside of the scope of here. We're going to go into that more in the future, but I just wanted to kind of <coughs> talk about objects. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.